Hey, what's going on guys? Rusty Nail here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the shockwave effect in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve, but you can pretty much do this in any editing program. It's pretty simple to do. It doesn't take too much. And yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your timeline is set up. 60 FPS, there we go. All right, now we're gonna drag in our clip and we're gonna put it into the timeline like that. All right, um, so you're gonna drag in a song. Let me get a song here. Let's just go spicy, perfect. Let's mute that. Damn, damn. Okay, so we want to sync it up right there. So we want to mark where the beat is. And we're going to take this and we're going to find exactly where I kill him. So the frame. The frame that looks the best is right when the damage numbers start to come up. So like right there, that's that looks the best. Make sure clips are unlinked. Mark that. Now, pretty much drag that like that to get it lined up. Lamp the markers, and we can re-drag those forward. So now we got something that looks like this. About the same time, I'm way too Perfect, synced up. So we're actually going to split it right there. Split that right there. So um, if you're just doing the shockwave, you don't have to worry about doing anything to this audio track. But if you want to do shockwave and the underwater audio sort of thing, then make sure you split up the um, song. Um, and make sure these clips are unlinked. So you don't want to do anything to this audio right here. The actual game audio. All right, so once you have that, let's start with the underwater audio. So you want to go back a bit. I don't know where should we start it. Let's say let's start it like right here. Uh, cut that. Um, make sure it's selected. Go up to um, inspector. Clip equal equalizer. Turn that on. Drag the one down and drag the four down. Something like this. And that makes it sound like. Perfect. So it kind of makes it quieter, a little bit more distorted. And then it stops right when you hit the beat, right when the, um, right there. So that sounds pretty good to me. So we're done with audio. Now, as for the video, um here so there's links to the shockwaves in the description but let me see if i have one right on me downloads so i have this one right here um that's one of the ones in the description i personally prefer the white one so I'm gonna get that and then I'll be back when I find it. All right, I found the white shockwave. So this one looks something like this. So that's what we have so far. Obviously, you can't see the clip through here. So what you wanna do is you want to make sure that's selected Go to the Fusion tab at the bottom, um, Shift Space to bring up this um, selector tool, and type in Delta Keyer. Um, it's this one right here. Add that, and then oh, over here, drag that to black, and drag that to black, and it'll make it transparent. 
So now we got something that looks like this. Okay, so obviously that's a little slow. So right click, go to, where is it? Uh, change clip speed right here. And 500% is pretty good. Okay, it's still trying to render the PNG thing. Hello. Alright, so that's what we got right now. We got that shockwave effect, but it's um, not as cool if you don't have it, uh, the saturation and everything, right? So to get the saturation, um, you want to go back a bit. So let's go to when we start the, when we made the audio cut and cut the video. And then just have the video part selected, go to color, um, make sure you, um, keyframe keyframe corrector one and you can start with the saturation put it around 37 or so and then drag the thing right to when you hit the shot and put that down to zero so that's how we get the saturation to start and then it comes back when the shockwave hits and so to get it so um the saturation comes back with the shockwave you want to have this clip selected right here go to color make sure it's this clip all the way back to when you hit the shot make sure it's this one and then press alt l to bring up another one of these um, go to the first one, the top one here, and drag the saturation all the way down. And then go to the bottom one, and you want to click on this circle tool right here. Oh no, sorry, when on the top one, put the saturation on back to 50. Um, you want to click, where is it, it's this, this little icon here, you want to click monochrome. That's what you want to do. And um, now you can click the second one and then go to this icon here and press the circle and then um, have corrector one keyframed and corrector three keyframed and go to like here and you can zoom in with your scroll wheel and just pretty much have the um, saturation circle lined up with the shockwave so it comes in with it. And then go a little bit further ahead. Gonna un out zoom out a little bit further. Drag it so it matches, and then go to when there's no shockwave left, and drag it fully. Now we got something that looks like this. Okay. So, you can add a little bit of slow mo if you want right before you hit the shot. Let's zoom in. Let's say right there. This will um, change our clip speed actually. We should have done this first, but we can do it. Make this change clip speed 55 is pretty good. Oh no, it's not going to change anything. So, this sh all should be good. Something like that, if you want. So, that's pretty much how you, or you can do no slow mo, you can do no underwater audio, you can do no saturation, anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do the um, shockwave effect. Um, all uh, the shock waves, th this one, this yarn one here, and the color one, and just the white one. They're both gonna be in the in the description, so you can pick whatever one you want. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you found this helpful, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.